I was a very athletic woman, always running, always outside playing. I danced my entire life. Uh, I was a ballerina. The life for me before I got injured was fairly normal. You know, I lived a fairly normal life growing up in Australia. Always into mischief and playing plenty of sport and doing that sort of stuff. And I was an avid skier, not a fantastic one. It was February 27th, 1992. I was riding the chairlift to the top of the mountain and I thought, this is the last time. Something's going to happen. I was basically uh, tackled and in a ruck um, playing rugby union and uh, the ruck collapsed on top of me and the weight of the ruck broke my neck and um, straight away I was paralysed immediately like they say it's like sort of switching out the lights you know there's no second chance. My first reaction was oh can I, can I do that again can we run that ball again you know instant replay and do something different to make it change. We at NewTech are dealing with patients of incurable and terminal conditions. Our therapy here is the first of its kind in the world. The beauty of this treatment is there is no antigenic reactions to stem cells, which means that patients do not require to be cross-matched and they would not require any immunosuppressive therapy thereafter. We are treating patients suffering from neurodegenerative conditions. Uh, autoimmune disorders, cardiac disorders, diabetes, and our main forte is spinal cord injuries. Human embryonic stem cells are the stem cells with the maximum potential. They can replicate and regenerate into every cell of the body, every organ of the body. And these are the stem cells that we are working on. The human embryonic stem cells that I work with have been derived from a single embryo. This embryo had been derived in the year 2000 and from there on we've used a cell line. And uh, these cell lines have been used to treat currently incurable and terminal disorders. We are treating patients with human embryonic stem cells. One is at Gautam Nagar, one is at Green Park. We started our work at Gautam Nagar. It is geared up to give patients almost everything which a modern nursing home can give. Each planet has a fixed path of its own as it goes around the sun. Some of the, plants which the role of stem cells has given us the, an insight into developing a program for children with special needs. The department run by Dr. Rahul Lahani uh, aimed at integrating these children back into normal society. The children that we have suffer from a wide range of diseases like Asperger's syndrome, autism, cerebral palsy, hypoxic brain damage. Uh, these are children that we have uh, undertaken to give human embryonic stem cell therapy based on th that they are considered incurable condition. I want to walk as much as I do for myself as I want to for my mum. So she called me and she said, Amanda, I've seen this great story about Sonia Smith. We have to find Dr. Gita Shroff. <laughs> so within 12 hours, I was already talking on the phone to Dr. Gita Shroff in India. Not just Indian patients, but patients coming from all over the world. We've got patients coming from even places like Hong Kong, almost, you know, and Australia, Mozambique, Portugal, Germany, the United States, and even as recently, uh, an island called Curaçao which is that 20-minute flight from Venezuela. That's what's led me to New Tech, is that, um, you know, the fact that uh, we're here in India and they're doing things that you would never think possible in, in you know, the Western world. We have the state-of-the-art equipment. Our physiotherapy has all the necessary gadgets and equipment required, along with fully trained professional physiotherapists. When we started this facility, 
we try to make sure that the patients would get we would be as comfortable as they would be in their homes so our rooms are equipped to the smallest detail that we could think of patients get served uh, their food and in, 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 at lunchtime and in the evening with uh, regard to breakfast we give them breakfast cereals bread toast milk jam this place has become a home away from home in so many different senses Sometimes there are dramatic improvements seen in the patients. Patients start walking, which they have not done for the last five years. That's uh, astounding. I can't see what a doctor sees, but I have seen patients that have come uh, been, uh, with spinal cord injury, complete spinal cord injury, walking within four days of treatment. It was 14 years the day of my accident, and uh, my diaphragm started to move again, which allows me to breathe up the ventilator and I um, you know, was fully ventilator dependent, I couldn't breathe at all for 14 years and then um, one day, April 17, it started up again. It's a 24 hour job for them when they are at New Tech so that they don't waste any time and a maximum sort of improvement which can come, they have to strive for that. I've been paralyzed for 16 years. I've not shown any progress. Now, I feel my ankles, I feel my toes. I'm the proud owner of glutes, of quads, of hamstrings, and I can pee on my own, and I'm proud of it. We have a vision. We want that this therapy be made available for everyone around the globe as a first line of therapy, such that a patient can go there, pick up a stem cell injection and never have to suffer the indignities of a progressively incurable disorder. What keeps me here is as long as I see the patients improving, um, that's enough motivation for me. Seeing people that, that, that's been turned away from the medical world because there's no cure for them, no form of medicine available to them and coming here as a last resort, why not take that chance, why not?